Welcome back guys. Um, this is the first uh, of a series of videos that will teach you how to use Vue.js to build a single page application. Uh, during the course, we will um, work on two simple projects and deploy them on the file. We will use, of course, Vue.js as our front-end framework and build with different technologies our projects uh, we will work on a simplified version of Twitter and a portfolio website that will fetch data from the GitHub API. So we will learn how to fetch data from a third party service. And what you, what you will need to follow this course is a basic knowledge of HTML and CSS. And of course, a bit of JavaScript. We will learn Vue.js um along the way so you will not need any knowledge uh, of the view uh, we will start uh, with the fundamentals and then work on these projects uh, so let me show you the first of the projects we will have a registration form we are um, kind of cloning uh, twitter but in a really a simple way so you can understand the concept and how to make this happen so the first uh, thing that we have is a registration form while the user can type um, his name, his email address and the password and straight away after he types all this information is logged in. So let's type just a fake mail and then a fake password and then register. And so here we have our first tweet box in here we have, of course, the possibility to add a tweet and send it. So we have a place where we store these tweets. So every time we refresh the page, we will keep seeing this um, list of tweets that we have. And as you can see, while I type inside the tweet box, we have a counter for the um, a counter for uh, the characters that we are inserting because we have a limit of 200 characters and when we reach the limit we will not be able to um, keep writing so of course uh, this is something that we learn how to do uh, together then we can press tweet button and it should appear down here uh, let me refresh the page okay yes uh, it should appear right here and it does so Twitter tweet number two okay and when we uh, press enter of course we go on line down so we can write on multiple lines and when we press this button we insert the tweet we can delete the tweet if we make a mistake and every time we refresh the page, we will still see these tweets that we inserted. So we store them somewhere. And then we can cancel and this nice pop-up appears and asks us if you are sure that we want to remove the tweet. After that, we will build a nice portfolio. Um, so we have a landing page uh, with some description that we, if you want, you can add. And then we have skills and projects. When we click on here, we will fetch the data. So it's a bit slow while it's fetching because I wanted to show you that there is something uh, loading. And we see a list of our repositories on the GitHub account. So you will be able to select your account if you have one, otherwise you can create one and then add some project in here and uh, have them shown in on this page um, so you will see these blocks with your projects so the date the name of the project and the description and then we reach the fifth project and then we can press a lot more project until we reach the end of the project so um, as long as there are projects in your um, GitHub account, we will be able to see this button. And then when it's done, we will see this link and that says visit my GitHub account. And then here we have a list of the skills 
that uh, are actually uh, the languages that you are using uh, with your project. So, you know, every time you uh, create a new repository, you can select what kind of languages you are using and the languages we will uh, will be shown here. So um, that's it for this video. Um, so just to recap a little bit uh, very quickly, um, the uh, course is going to be about uh, Vue.js. We will learn what Vue.js is and how to use it. And the entire course is split into 16 chapters. We will start from the fundamentals uh, like the installation at create view instance, methods, loops, uh, conditionals, uh, computed properties, components, and then we will along the way build these uh, projects. And we will also learn two libraries, um, the Axios library for uh, to make HTTP, HTTP requests. And then we will use and learn how to use the view router, which is another uh, library that we can use for our final project and yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you in the next video see you later